Welcome to the top five with Brandon. And Brandon. Do, do, do. Okay. It's my kid. So today we're doing uh, chicken ramen. I don't think all of these are chicken. I think that most of them are. Is he chicken? Yeah, most of them are. Now there's going to be a disclaimer with this video. Um, I t tallied all the sodium content in milligrams between all of these and it was like 6700 milligrams of sodium now you're supposed to have at least I'm supposed to have no more than 1500 in a day so we're not gonna finish all these but thankfully they don't cost a whole lot I think this one was like 10 cents or 15 cents or something and they're all like a dollar dollar fifty a piece this one was like two dollars was it really? It was like uh, it was like a dollar and a half or something. Okay, well we're gonna feed two people with less than ten dollars, and I'm gonna use chippity chopsticks. What are you gonna use? I'm gonna use this fork. <laughs> well, what are we doing? How are we doing this? How are we ranking these things? Oh, uh, we rank them one through five, including halves. So one or one and a half would be garbo. Garbage. Where's the cat? She's supposed to be in this show. Come on. Marcy. And a four and a half or a five would be. Amazing. And maybe a three would be... Pretty average. Yeah, know. not too bad. So here we go with the top five. Now these are the packaged ones. These aren't the ones that are like, that you put in a... <laughs> that you put in a, a thing and then cook it with all that. You just basically add water to these. You stick them in the microwave. And keep in mind, I don't touch this stuff anymore. You like ramen. I like authentic ramen that comes from like a restaurant. There's a place in Seattle called... Uh, ramen bushido that we filmed that years ago for a side tv and it was like amazing these are good but they're just very unhealthy so the disclaimer is don't do what we're doing we're not going to eat all this but don't go out don't eat ramen period it's so bad for you yeah. okay so um i've only had like the actual chicken flavor not the spicy flavor of this oh so spicy yeah four of these are spicy the, ch the top ramen is not and the brands are maruchan I think I said that right. Maruchan? Top ramen. Top ramen. Nongshim, which is something I actually found in Korea when I was in the army. I used to eat that stuff all the time. Nissin, which is the hot and spicy brand here. And Tapatio, which I thought was like Mexican hot sauce. But they're in the ramen business now. Yeah, I guess. And where'd we pick up all this ramen? Walmart. Walmart. My first trip to Walmart in a long time. And I leave with a bunch of unhealthy food. Go figure. You ready? Which one are we going to do? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, touch tiger by its face. Why, you, why would you know, touch it? This a... one. I don't know, this one. That one hot and spicy? Okay, you go sure. first. We'll take turns. I got my chippity chops ready. We should get like a plate or something. It's too late now. What are you? You got to roll the ramen. Just put it in your face. I'm but you just did it. You're rolling it. You could have had it in your face and on your taste this buds why, and down to your belly by now. This is why you need a plate. With you have a plate. It's called right here. Hurry up and eat it. Fine. Okay. You gotta Whoa. get towards the bottom. Is it really spicy? Apparently Actually, so. Actually, it's not that bad. It's, it's a big hit, but it wears off quick. You need like a plate or something. Uh-huh. I got a plate. Definitely ramen. Now keep in mind, when I do make ramen, I usually drain it, and then I add like a little bit of butter, and I actually put Parmesan cheese on it, so it ends up more like a spaghetti and cheese type of thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not even ramen at that point. It, it's still ramen, it's just dressed up a little differently. What do you think? Let me try it again, because I got a really plain bite. Did you? Was yours really plain? It's kind of plain, it's just spicy. It's definitely not that hot and spicy at all. I just thought it'd be yeah. a lot more. Yeah, I have like no relative. Uh, <laughs> ah, I dropped a noodle on my noodle. Resistance to spice at all, so. Well, <sighs> everything's gonna be about twice as hot for me. This one I know is pretty spicy. I don't know about these. I've never had these. I haven't had ramen literally in years. But that one says hot and spicy, and it's not that hot and spicy. Yeah. But we we got drinks. I got a squirt. I got a squirt. What do you got? Yeah, uh, you got a mess. Your mouth mess. This. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give that a two and a half because there's just no flavor to it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same. That's Nissan, N-I-S-S-I-N, and we're doing this late at night, so 
full. That's why it's so dark. Late at night. Well, it's, it's winter. It's, it's later than we normally do these. We usually do them like in the morning, afternoon, and there's white yeah. lights coming through here. That's why we're so dark. Ooh, Ooh it's so spooky ramen episode. It's the spooky, spooky king ramen. Cat. She always has to make an appearance. All right. So, what did you what did you rank this? Uh, same as you. Two and a half. Okay. Total of five for Nissan, 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 whatever it is. What are we doing next? Up to you. Uh, let's go zigzag. Zigzag. What are you talking about? That's boom, boom. Oh, zigzag. I got Marachan, which is like a very popular brand of. They have hundreds of flavors. I actually like the creamy chicken one. Back in the day, I used to get like a package of that for like five bucks. You'll go through these days pretty soon <laughs> when you're just start living on your own and you're like, I have no money to eat. Oh, ramen. No, <laughs> my plan is just to raid college parties. Can I go with you? No. Some cute girls. Eh? No, I'm just going to wait till they're all drunk enough. And then what? Take their food? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just going to go like steal all the nachos. Okay, there you go. It's my boy right there. He's learning well. Okay, <laughs> this is bad. That's, that's, mm, that's hot. Not spicy hot, but just hot. Hot, hot. Ooh, a little spice to it, not much. Okay. I'm going to take your advice and blow on it. A little spicier chicken. You see, I'm just, I'm really not a ramen fan anymore. Yeah, I can barely pick up a hint of that spice. Yeah. I can tell it's there. I would, but I would need Parmesan cheese on this for me to even be able yeah, to eat it. Yeah, I can tell it's there, but it's not agitating. I spilt another noodle on my noodle. It tastes a lot like the first one. Just a little, little, it has a little it, more flavor and it's a little less spicy, I'd say. But it has like a cheaper noodle and it's just, mm -hmm. ugh, I don't know. I'm gonna give that a drop of cap. You're I'm gonna, gonna give that a three. Really? I'm gonna go another two and a half because it, it is it got a little more flavor, but just the texture is gross. I don't know, I'm used to it, so. So, you eat ramen a lot? No, I'm not, I don't eat it a lot. It's just the only type of ramen I eat. It was that one, gotcha. Mm hmm. Are we still zigzagging? Yep. So All we're right. going to the tapio. We're, I thought we were going to this one if we're zigzagging. No. Eh, it's eh. up to you, man. You tell me. If you want to go to Tapatio, then let's go to Tapatio, Tapatio Town. It's just noodles all over this place. That's okay, though. That means it's a good day. Here we go. Is right. it? You go first, sir. Is that your good <clears> day sign? It's noodles? a good day when there's this noodles everywhere. What if you, like, spill your spaghetti on your cat? That's a bad day for her, but I'm still having a good day. Oh, God. Look at that. That's a, that's a quality noodle, though. I'm not going to lie. Tapatio. Chicken flavor. It says ramen noodle soup. I didn't know Tapatio. It's like a hot sauce. I didn't know it was like in the ramen game. I never saw this before. Of course, I never go to Walmart, so they got all kinds of stuff. I saw yeah. Cheetos mac and cheese today and bought two boxes just to try it. That's a lot more spice, definitely. What's Tapatio? It's got a lot more flavor. That one's pretty good. Yeah, it tastes like tapatio. Like, it tastes more Mexican. Like that's like a Mexican dish right there. That's it's almost like uh, Spanish rice or something. It's pretty good. I won't lie, I like this one. I just noticed that the, on this hot and spicy has a one out of three chili peppers on the hot scale. Oh, so it's not hot and spicy at all. Yeah, that's a totally different flavor. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to give that a three and a half. I'm just going to keep going up in increments. Tapatio gets a three and a half. We had another kitty cat cameo. I screwed up and put things in the wrong spots, of course. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be a show if I didn't. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give that a three and a half as well. So that one's in the seven. Three. It's winning. Tapatio in the ramen business taking over. Boom, boom, boom. Then boom. Okay, so we're going Top, Top ramen, ramen. Another very popular brand that you can buy those little packages probably 20 of them for like two three bucks i used to live on this stuff man also that that spice of the top of teal does linger for a while you know like i said i in your teen late teen years when you get on your own and in your 20s you live on this stuff when you're in college or when i was in the army i used to take out these little packages especially in korea where they had this brand and i take it out to the field with me just add hot water to it and Boom, you got something that's not an MRE. It was wonderful. Ha, so, you'll figure these days out. 
and I ain't giving you no money. Here we go. Top ramen. Let's do this. Mmm. I do not get very much of this. That one's got a really good flavor to it. The That one's probably... It definitely has a lot more flavor, but I'm not sure about it. It doesn't have any spice, like it's, well, it's not spicy. Yeah, that's the one that's not spicy. So it doesn't kick you in the face as much as the other ones, it but it has a really good aftertaste to it. For top ramen, I never would have thought. I kind of like that one very much. Really? Yeah. I, I liked it more than the first two, not as much as the third one. Palette is cleansed. <clears throat> yeah. What are you doing? I'm going to do a two and a half. Two and a half? Okay. I'm going to do a three. So there is a tie for either not first place so far. Yeah. But uh, that brings us to this one, my old friend. Now, I can't tell you with a straight face how many packages of, what is it called, Nongshim N-O-N-G-S-H-I-M. Just look for that logo. It also comes in the package. I can't tell you how many packages of this I have devoured in Korea. Sometimes we chop up hot dogs into it. Sometimes we put egg into it. It's like cooking egg in it. Sometimes we put uh, any kind of cheese just in there. And uh, we'd go down to the village outside of Camp Stanley in Korea, which I think is still there. We'd go to our little place called Peggy's. who She made this. And then she would chop up like everything I just said, like hot dogs or beef or big ogi or any of that stuff in it. Like seriously good memories, but I'll let you go ahead. So you ate at least seven. Hundred? Seven. Oh, you got a lot of bigger mouthful than that. What do you got? Three noodles? Noodles are falling out. They're you gotta like, get a mouthful to get a proper they're taste. Like strings. Yeah, they are pretty. I would not get much at all. Well, get in there. I would say that eating ramen with mm. chops with chopsticks is kinda cheating. Why is that cheating? Because you can just reach in and grab a bunch. You can get more with a fork if you just put it in there and pull it out. Just make a mess. Who cares? Mm, okay. That is so good. Not on me, though. Okay. Hey, get in there. Get a big bite of this because this is really good. This I is did. the one. It's spicy. It's not that spicy at all. It's got a, it's got a good peppery taste to it, but not hot. You put pepper on everything. I don't put anything on these. Well, I do like black pepper, but I did not touch everything? these. I only made these like they were supposed to be made. That's not what I was saying. Mmm. God, I'm that's so good. You're saying you're subject to peppery taste. I like peppery stuff. I like jalapenos, habaneros. I like green chilies. I like black pepper. I like everything. Yeah, you should take another bite of that and get a good taste of it because it's got such a good aftertaste. I like oranges. What? Mm -hmm. It tastes like oranges. I said I like oranges. I like oranges too. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know, you said you like jalapenos and chili peppers or whatever you said. Stop it. Yeah, I gotta hit a symbol. Okay. Well, that one's really... I'm going with a solid four on that one. Yeah, that's definitely a spicy one. Ooh, God. Ooh, God. He said, ooh, God. It is the spiciest of them. There's a reason for that. <laughs> I'm proud of you for taking a bite though, because before you were just. I'm kind of overreacting, but still. Walk away from me and be like, I don't want to do it. Mmm. I'm enjoying it. I'll probably end up finishing that one and the 1300, uh, what is it? 1310 milligrams of sodium. I don't know if I'll be finishing that. I think I've had my fill. Mm -hmm. What's your number on that? Boy. Nong Shim. I'll give it a three and a half. Three and a half. All right, so in last place with only five points is Nissen, and this is totally our opinions, is Nissen Hot and Spicy, which really wasn't hot and spicy at all. Well, it's only a one pepper rating. Yeah, it's got a one pepper rating, and it still says hot and spicy on yeah, it. Because so. you know what that means. I guess it's spicier than no peppers. It's spicier than that one. Tied. Tied. For uh, third and fourth place would be... Top ramen. Top ramen. Skadoosh. And the two cheap ones are tied. Fancy that. Five and a half points. Maruchan and Top Ramen. Number two, surprisingly, 
with seven out of ten points, which is very respectable. Mm-hmm. Tapatio. Tapatio. Chicken spicy flavor. Ooh. It's actually has a cat hair on it. I headbutted the king. Actually, really good. I, 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 this is supposed to be Asian food, but it's not. This is definitely a. Even it even smells like like Mexican rice or something. It smells like a burrito. It really does smell like a burrito. <laughs> now, I sat in jail for a day and a half for a traffic ticket like 15 years ago or something like that. And I learned a recipe there that I'll never eat again. But in, in, in when you're sitting in jail and you're just hungry and they only feed you a couple times a day, it was wonderful. These guys took a burrito shell a flour shell they put ramen in it then they had like refried beans and they put that in there and then they had like this little like cheese easy cheese like the spray and then they made a burrito out of that and I ain't gonna lie to you right now it probably would be disgusting but at that point it was like that's the greatest thing I've ever had in my life it's like I'm scratching you but I'm scratching oh my goodness back. what is going on right now I'm being attacked she wants the ramen. She's taking over. She's not putting this up is, with it anymore. This is her show. Anyways, the winner. And I'm very proud to say so because this is, uh, you know, part of my history as far as eating things. Nong Shim. It's the spicy noodles. It's uh, super, super good. Comes in different forms. This is the like the ready-made cup. You just open it, add water, pour in the stuff, and done. And they're the winner with seven and a half points. We did this. Feed the chicken. Feed the chicken. No, don't. The chicken's not thirsty. Feed the chicken. It's empty. Eat the Will you pot. just feed the chicken? My goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, so wrap this thing up because I'm full of sodium now and it's way past your bedtime. It's not really. <laughs> oh yeah, you're still it's on. Up. You, you just stop snuggling the noodles. You don't snuggle the noodle, okay? Never snuggle, snuggle the new noodle. You're purring so loud. Why are you so happy, cat? Because I was scratching her. All right. Well, thank you for watching the top five with this kid and me. What do they do if they have an idea for us to rank stuff? Say you have like an idea like bread. You're like top five um, species of Wonder Bread. Yeah, the species of Wonder Bread. I think Wonder Bread is a brand, but there's like different kinds of bread. We could do white bread. I don't know. You know what I'm gonna do for the next one? What? I'm going to pick five things that I grew up eating and I'm going to feed them to you and let you, you basically rank them in order. I won't even have a, a say in it. it it's like crap that I don't eat anymore either. It's all in a can or in a box or any of that stuff. But, it sounds uh, like Chef Boyardee. It sounds like, yeah, the stuff that I could afford when I was about seven years older than you, you right now mm -hmm. and about 20 years ago. Wow, the reflexes. All right, wrap them up. What do they do? If you like this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have an idea for us, as he was explaining before, leave it in the comments. And if uh, hit the notification bell to know when we give you new top fives. Well, this yeah. uh, this has been fun. This has been a good way to end the day. A nice little yep. cup of soup with and some noodles cat. in it and a cat. So thank you for watching. And anything else? Go to his Twitch stream, B B O X M O W Z E R R. Why won't you never promote anything? That's the I problem. Know. You're basically in there playing with yourself, is what you're doing. I have people that watch me. Yeah, me. No. Then your grandmother. No. I'm trying to help you, kid. I'm watching people. All right, well, get on your Twitch thing and, and promote this show. See, it's all one big circle. Taking my taking my noodles and going. Bonk. All right, you close off the show. Turn the camera off. Okay, Why are you just beating me you with a Gatorade to, bottle? You have to hold it there. Well, you gotta put it on there right. While okay. I'm taking off the camera, or I'm turning the camera. You're taking off. The, don't take off the camera. I can't eat my ramen with this on my head. Hurry up! <laughs> it's falling. <laughs> See what you did.